Can you imagine how defeated and literally how whipped you have to have your opponent to take them around the ring consecutively at the end of a leather tether? Well, Roxy Powers, a fan favorite, but she's going to have her hands full with slam dunk because neither one of these competitors want to lose. Here we go. Well, when you're at the end of the tether, the one thing that is obvious is you can't run. Take cover. You can't jump out of the ring and run for the locker room. And the other thing that is obvious is that you can use that strap as a weapon. And that's exactly what Slam Dunk is doing on Rocky. The laser sharp edges of that leather strap against the legs of Rocky. And now choking it with the strap and that big boot. There has never, ever been a woman's strap match before, but it looks like perhaps Slam Dunk has a little experience with this sort of thing. Now, if it comes to a tug of war, if it comes down to strap, I've got to go with Roxy Powers. You saw the way she just grabbed hold of that strap, David, and rocked. Slam Dunk back in, and then you can see how that strap works. It can be used as a weapon, and it can be used as a tool. Roxy using it as a, as a tool to take Slam Dunk down. Kick to the next section, and she pancakes Slam Dunk. Yeah, Slam Dunk going to the outside. Oh, no, it's too late now. This is the match. And the trap is going to pull her back in. Oh, oh. She pulls Roxy and she hit her head right on the ring apron. I am flat out. Stop. She is confident. Slam Dunk doesn't oh, lack geez. any confidence. Oh, Jeannie yeah. Buss here at ringside, the owner of the Lakers. And Jeannie is watching the action. Oh, Are you kidding? The world is watching the action. Oh, yeah. Using the strap choking Roxy Powers out. The competitors on the outside. Everybody saw what Slam Dunk did to Roxy and Well Unleashed. And this is somewhat a result of that. And Slam reeling Roxy in like a big fish, but now Roxy's fighting back. Roxy's pulling and It's pulling. not a fish. She's pulling. got a great white shark on the other end of that line. Oh, Roxy let it go. Good move by Roxy Powers. And we're going to come back in a moment. Welcome back, fans of Wild. Roxy, taking over with slam reversal. You are watching not only... Oh! Guillotine leg drop by slam. Kick out with authority by Roxy. One of the most difficult matches in wrestling. Not only difficult, David, but perhaps one of the most dangerous matches in wrestling. And that was a bit wide, choking with that strap. Guillotine that misses. The idea of the match, you can win it with a pinfall, although you've got to be able to take your competitor 
from post to post and tag it consecutively. by Roxy. As I said, David, and I know you've seen many a strap match. There's one. Roxy has tagged one. Now player. Roxy's got to take her not only to two, she's which two. she's just done. Now she's got to take her to three, and she's literally got a drag slam. She's, she's got, got three. three. One more. One more. She's got it. One more. One more, and Roxy's got it. She can win this match if she gets to that other post. No. Slam dunk. Stop. Oh. Now watch this. Got her in the choke. Could be the choke slam. Choke slam by slam dunk. That ought to be the one thing that Roxy Powers is trying to protect against. There's one. Slam a little nonchalant, but she's dragging Roxy literally from pillar to post. And that is the objective of a strap match. You must go literally from pillar to post. This will be the third one, David. If she goes to one more post, one more turnbuckle, good move by Roxy. Good move by Roxy Powers. Slam just a little too cavalier, I think. Some of the action being photographed by renowned photographer and wrestling Scott Romer at ringside. You'll see some of the photos in this match in WOW World of Wrestling Magazine as well as the WOW Women of Wrestling Magazine that's at newsstands across the country. Double clothesline. That is one hot publication. The fans are behind Roxy. You can hear him yelling, Roxy, Roxy, Roxy. <laughs> One. Why? Slam hitting the first turnbuckle. And you can see that Slam's needle's just about on empty as well, David. Dragging Roxy Powers with her. That's two. And again, dragging Roxy Powers to turnbuckle number three. This could be it. She's got three. Roxy, the look. Roxy was telling the crowd, be quiet. Roxy has now hit three. Also. Roxy's also hit the third Roxy one. Roxy has hit the third one. Slam dunk doesn't know it. Roxy Powers has stripped. Slam dunk. She's going to hit the fourth one. No. Hit it, Rox. Slam dunk. If Roxy Stop. hits it, she's got Slam it. Slam thinks it's the first time she's going to get the hit one. One Slam more, Roxy, know. and you've got it. Slam. One more turnbuckle. She got it. She got it. That's four. Roxy Powers wins. Roxy Powers wins the strap match. Gentlemen, your winner, Roxy Powers wins. V Powers! And Slam Dunk suffers her first, and I guarantee you what may well be the most mortifying defeat in her career. Roxy Powers, the winner of the first ever strap match. And Slam Dunk is beside herself. And Roxy Powers, reveling in the victory of the first stop match, the winner, Roxy Powers. That's right, Lee, and it was just we to go this danger, thrill, carry gold through a table to win the world championship title. But then in WOW Unleashed, Terry Gold, the scrapper, the fighter she is, fought hard and then was able to recapture the world championship title to the thrill of the thousands of fans of the Great Western War. But now the world champion, Terry Gold, must look over her shoulder as the number one contenders line up. Jungle Girl, Poison, Ice Cold, and who can forget Slam? Dunk, and also the one that's in there against the champ today, Doug. Don't want to miss it. Coming up, Doug in there against the world champion, Harry Cole.